This is our high mileage shop chair. And I was trying to look at what the alternatives were. You buy a new one, throw this one away. But it seems like the new ones are all pretty junky. And yeah, this this chair is thrashed. But uh it's it's been good to us. So one of the one of the two issues here is the, the, the feet, right? These have feet that plug into little tubes as a socket and they're nearly impossible to find now. Why is that a problem? Well <laughs> that that's why it's a problem. It's got a makeup foot. It's had a makeup foot since I can't remember when. Probably at least 20 years now. It's had a makeup foot. So it's got three proper feet and one makeup foot. Well, we're going to start to to fix that as well as the top. And we're going to see how it goes. So this was the best option I could find, really. I would have rather have bought the plug-in feet, but, you know, looking for that kind of stuff may or may not be worth my time. These were in the catalog. And I have a lathe. I know maybe, you know, most of you guys don't have a lathe, or many of you don't have a lathe. Um, you can bodge something together. So, with the lathe and some shop time, we came up with some parts. So this guy fills that tube on the bottom. Sort of like that. And a semi-industrial looking top cap plug screws on the top and what we get is that which looks kind of silly but that's gonna work so this these reliefs fill the tube and then we'll screw it in tight and maybe put some Loctite on there so they don't come off because these are all that's custom so, yeah, you're not going to find that anywhere. Uh, and, um, and these are two additional ones that need to be cut to length. And uh, that'll take care of the feet. And I got some leather. It's in there. And we'll do the seat up with a new leather top. And we've got foam on the way. And we've got batting on the way. And we'll see how that goes. I've been dying to put a pattern in the leather. But I think I'm just going to keep it plain. Because I don't know if I even have my leather tools anymore. I don't know how long that's going to take. And this is one of those get it done projects i don't necessarily need to be spending a lot of time making a pretty pattern on the leather um it'd be nice but uh you know that's fine maybe i'll make one in, in the future i don't know i don't really care i just want to get it done i don't need a bunch of oohs and ahs um, but um just showing you guys that uh you know, just because it's old and worn out doesn't mean it's trash. Sometimes it is. Sometimes the, the stuff that you buy is more trash than what you just threw away. So you got to make that judgment call. Well, we got the feet in. 
looks kind of silly, but what do you want? It's a modification of an old chair. So we've got four feet, and we straighten the legs out a little bit. They're a little bit twisted. So no wobbles, except for on the spots where the concrete's not level. You know, a little bit of wobble. But... <sighs> Next hard part's going to be the seat. But that's going to take a while. So we'll get back to it when, when we have the seat done. All right. So far on the stool project, this old stool, we got our three-quarter plywood cut out. It's about 17 inches or so. Oh, this is heavy. This is getting heavy now. So we use the router to cut out the disc, and we put some T-nuts in, quarter 20, so that we can attach it to the stool. We put the vent holes in, so when you sit on it, that's what you're hearing, the, the air puffing out. We got a two inch piece of foam in there. And then on top of the foam, we got two thicknesses of this batting, Oops, polyfill stuff. And on top of that, we've got two thicknesses of this batting, sort of even it out. And then we've got another thickness wrapped on the outside and I was trying to get all fancy and everything, but that it didn't work out. So I just cut it back to here. You probably feel it a little bit, but your butt's going to be right here. So this is hopefully not going to annoy you too much. So, you know, this has got massive amount of padding compared to the old one. Which is just completely deflated. So we've got the feet on. And we got the top, and we miscalculated on the leather. I need about 60 inches to go around the circumference, so I'm going to have to order another piece. The piece I ordered is just about big enough for an apron, but not much bigger. And we're going to try and saddle stitch it um, at the crease here so that it is it's strong. And um, that's about it for now. Alright, so, um, last time we were here, the cushion was finished, <clears throat> but now I've got the leather cut out, and I got a uh, 48 by 12 piece, um, because I need a lot of length to go around the, the diameter. So we, we made some strips and then we saddle stitch those strips together and then I made the top, I made the top a little bit smaller than the diameter and it's inside out right now and we got a ways to go so you see I've got I'm almost half and what we're going to do is we're going to complete the stitching at the one seam right all the way around and then we're going to have to fit check the other seam to make sure that its length <clears throat> fits with how we close up the top and if it doesn't fit then we have to take it in just a little bit. So my fear is we're going to have to take it in. I don't know. If it's too tight, it'll stretch. 
If it's too loose, we'll have to take it in. I'm not sure how that's going to go. It's kind of a mystery. This is already stitched. And this saddle stitching, man, oh my god, it takes a long time. And it takes a long, long freaking time to do that. Oh, God, it's painful. Um, <laughs> but um, you're not going to be able to beat the results. So I'll show you what it looks like so far. So it has kind of a weird look to it, but I tell you, that seems going to be really strong. And um, once once the other side's done, it's going to pull the the stuffing in tight. So that's going to be a good cushion. I think. We'll see. All right, we're just about done with the seat cover. It's um I think it's veg tan leather, I don't know. I'm just a, you know, whatever works. Um it's taken a long time. It is all um oh we're we are oops sorry. We are saddle stitched. The whole damn thing is saddle stitch. So that was that was a ton of work. But uh she's she's beautiful. So now we gotta trim off the skirt a little bit and we gotta staple it with the staple gun and then our old stool will have a new life and we should be done I don't know maybe maybe in an hour or so so on the bottom here we have T-nuts, quarter 20, already pounded in there. And we have vent holes for the air. And we wrapped around some of the extra batting so that the edges wouldn't just be hard wood. And now I just, well, maybe we won't even, I don't know if we'll even trim it. Maybe we'll just staple it as is. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll just... Maybe I'll just staple it on as is. So we have to gather it. Have to staple it and gather it. And um Yeah, maybe we'll just I'll just staple gun it on there. Call it a day. Cause uh who cares about the bottom, right? You don't really care about the bottom. So that's um <laughs> You could use it as is right now if you wanted to. Um, it would fall apart later. But, uh, yeah. Um, Three-quarter ply. Uh, Two-inch polyfoam. Then we got the batting. Then we put the, the quilt batting. Three layers of that. And then another layer of topper. And uh, leather. Leather top. Real leather top. Not, not this... This fake, fake plasticky shit. Real leather. Real leather. So hopefully this stool will last, well, hopefully past my lifetime. So let's see how it goes. All right, here we go. 20 years in the making. <laughs> it took 20 years to get to this. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know how some things just aren't priorities. Well, this just wasn't one of them. But uh, we're going to breathe new life into our old stool here. And um, have many more years to come. 
And there we have it. Yeah, that's ugly, brown and green, but uh, that's leather. It's real leather. Don't know where you're going to find that. Well, go, uh, go retop your stool or fix something that's broke. <laughs>